Hi students, very good morning to everyone. So now today we are going to discuss about the characteristics of stepper motor. Characteristics of stepper motor. The last class we discussed about the switching of switching of phase winding of stepper motor. In that case, we studied unipolar winding, bipolar winding, bipolar winding to energize the phase winding of stepper motor. And also we discussed hatch bridge type facing of switching, uh, switching winding the stepper motor. So we have basically three kinds of stepper motor. One is one is variable reluctance stepper motor. Second one is permanent magnet stepper motor. Third one is hybrid stepper motor. Okay, so basically we have three kinds of stepper motor. The first one is via stepper motor. The via stepper motor, both to stator and rotor, are made up of steel laminations. Steel laminations. steel laminations. In permanent magnet stepper motor, the stator is similar to stator is similar to via stepper motor, this means steel laminations. And the rotor is also made up of rotor is made up of permanent magnet material with a high retentive force with a, with a high retentive force. So next one is hybrid stepper motor. Hybrid stepper motor is a combination of combination of via stepper motor and permanent magnet stepper motor. Via stepper motor and permanent magnet stepper motor. This means the stator is made up of the stator is made up of steel lamination the rotor is made up of rotor is made up of steel and Axially mounted permanent magnet material. Steels under axially steel under PM. So, what are the difference? What is the difference between? So, this type of motor, no holding torque. Holding torque. Holding torque and hidden torque is present there. Here, the stepping rate of this via stepper motor, minimum step, stepping rate of the via stepper motor is 1.8 degree. 1.8 degree. The stepping rate of the permanent magnet stepper motor is, it is limited from 30 to 90 degree because construction of permanent magnet material because construction of permanent magnet materials. The next motor is called as hybrid stepper motor. 
This hybrid stepper motor combined the operation of rear stepper motor, permanent magnet stepper motor, the step rating, step size, minimum step size is 0 0.5 degree. 0 0.5 degrees. Now, now we are, what we are going to study in this class, what are the characteristics of this motor, this kind of this uh, stepper motors? What are the characteristics of this kind of stepper motors? So first one, variable retina stepper motor, second one is permanent magnet stepper motor, third one is hybrid stepper motor. What are the characteristics? One is first characteristic step size or step angle. The second one is pulling torque. Third one is Pull out torque. And the fourth one is sleeping, sleeping mode. And the last one is resolution. So these are the characteristics of stepper motor. Furthermore, we have another two characteristics. Static characteristics. And dynamic characteristics. So these two characteristics of stepper motor. So we study one by one what are the characteristics, how it is work we, we discuss. So first one is step angle. The step angle is angular displacement of rota for a single pulse excitation. For a single pulse of excitation applied to the state or winding. Applied to the state or winding. This is the definition of the step angle. The step angle Theta S yes, is defined as theta S yes, equal to 360 upon number of phases, it is denoted by M, number of what are teeth is called as NR. For example, suppose three phase stepper motor means number of phases three. Three phase stepper motor having four rotor teeth means it having four. Now substitute you can find step angle. You can find the step angle of the stepper motor. Okay. Next one is resolution. It is defined as the number of steps for revolution. Number of steps for revolution. For example, any kind of stepper motor, 12 pulse, 12 steps are required to complete one revolution. That is the resolution. That is the resolution. Okay. See, this resolution may defined as Z. It is equal to 360 upon theta S. Theta S means what? Theta S is step angle. Step angle step angle for given state of rotor teeth. Okay? So that is a step angle. Suppose for example 360 upon the minimum step angle for the VS stepper motor is 1.8 degree. So you can use 200 steps for revelation. So this is your resolution. This is your resolution. Clear? So this is your definition of resolution. The next one is called is pulling top. Basically, we have two kinds of top. 
pull in torque and pull out torque pull in torque and pull out torque so this torque happened start and stop mode of operation pull in torque okay see here it is the maximum torque developed by the developed by a stepper motor for given stepping rate in the start stop mode of operation without losing synchronism without losing synchronism so in this mode the pulling torque means without losing synchronism is called as pulling torque it is a maximum torque developed by a stepper motor for given step rate in the start stop mode of operation without losing synchronization without losing synchronization this is called as pulling torque this is called as pulling torque next one is sleeving mode in this mode the motor cannot be stopped immediately the motor cannot stop immediately by stopping by stopping applied pulse by stopping applied pulse first now see consider that consider motor is running stepping okay so that the motor cannot stop immediately by applying any any, any pulses so it will take some it will take some time that mode is called as sleeping mode so in this mode motor cannot stop by immediately by stopping the applied pulses so this is for sleeping mode operation of stepper motor the next one is pull out torque pull out torque it is a maximum torque developed by a stepper motor for given stepping rate in this sleeping mode without losing synchronization without losing synchronization okay so this is a pull out torque of stepper motor next one is a static characteristics and another one characteristic is called the dynamic characteristics the usually the dynamic characteristics occur in during the motoring operation during the running operation the dynamic characteristics is also called as running characteristics the dynamic characteristics is also called as the running characteristics okay first one we'll see static characteristics of stepper motor static characteristics of stepper motor the torque versus step angle the torque versus step angle the first the stepper motor is excited and brought to a equilibrium position then external torque is applied this is once again the stepper the first the stepper motor is excited and brought to a equilibrium position then external torque is applied okay see here this is a straight up the uh, applying this is a guiding pulse the uh, applying switches okay now once if this is a equilibrium position bring first bring into equilibrium position okay then we apply the external pulses to move the further movement okay so this makes the rotor moves from the rest position the angular displacement is measured the variation of the displacement is plotted against torque this curve is called as torque angle characteristics this curve is called as torque angle characteristics so as you can see here the torque angle characteristics of stepper motor the stepping rate denoted as theta s the torque t the torque is t okay it is a y axis the stepping rate in the x axis okay now this curve indicates torque versus step angle characteristics torque versus step angle characteristics this is a step size of the step angle this is a maximum maximum step angle t time maximum step angle okay so this is called as static characteristics next one characteristic is called as torque versus current characteristics torque versus current characteristics previously we studied step size versus torque characteristics this is a current versus torque characteristics so we have already we discussed the vr vr stepper motor does not have any holding torque
So, hybrid stepper motor and permanent magnet stepper motor having folding top. Folding top. Okay, now see. So, this is your this is your top. The holding torque also called as redundant top. Holding torque also called as redundant top. This is for uh, torque of the variable reluctance stepper motor. So, see, initially there is no initial top. The torque is zero. The torque is zero. When the torque will be created once we apply it, once we apply it, pulses to the stator winding, it comes to equilibrium position. Then we applied external torque that further rotor will move from the from the equilibrium position. So, see this is called as torque versus current characteristic of the stepper motor. The second one is hybrid stepper motor. The hybrid stepper motor naturally having holding torque because the rotor combined operation of via stepper motor and permanent magnet stepper motor. Okay, so that it is initially having holding torque without turning on the switches, without turning on the excitation of phase winding. The holding torque means it is a torque, it is a pressure in the rotor without turning on the phase windings. That called is called as holding torque. So see here, without turning on the switches, phase winding we have present a holding torque. This is called this redundant torque. Redundant torque. That is why that uh, that is why stepper motor having or offering high torque even at standstill condition. Even at the standstill condition. So next one dynamic characteristics of stepper motor. The dynamic characteristics. The dynamic characteristics stepper motor represent the characteristics when it is running, when it is running characteristics. It is also called as the running characteristics of stepper motor. Pulling and the pull out are characteristics are called dynamic characteristics. Pulling characteristics also known as starting characteristics of stepper motor. Starting characteristics of stepper motor. See here, here this is for Pulling characteristics, pull out characteristics of stepper motor, stepping rate for pulses. Okay, so we have torque versus stepping frequency. Torque versus stepping frequency. This is a dynamic characteristic of stepper motor. Pulling torque, the rate of action torque against which amount which motor can stop without losing any step. Without losing any step. That is called as pulling torque. Pull out torque. The pull out torque are similar characteristics of plot of the relation between fraction of low torque and maximum pulse rate at which motor is synchronized there. At which motor is synchronized. It is a pull out torque, it is a pulling torque. Next one is, next one is microprocessor based stepper motor control. Microprocessor based stepper motor control. So if you see here, We have stepper motor. We have stepper motor. The stepper motor is connected with the driver circuit. Driver circuit. That is a driver circuit for phase windings. Driver circuit for phase wind. That means uh, driver. This driver circuit used to turn on the switches. Switches. That is auto isolator. Auto isolator. Auto isolator means it is isolated stepper motor and the Microprocessor, stepper motor and the microprocessor. Okay, next one is a microprocessor. Microprocessor memory cell peripheral device. Okay, so this is now stepping rate. The stepping rate is a, as an input to the microprocessor. This is the direction of stepper motor. Direction of stepper motor. So we can so this direction will decide that motor whether it run in clockwise direction or anticlockwise direction. Okay, so this is a direction indicate with. with uh, Excitation of windings. Excitation of winding. This is for one best example of stepper motor, uh, microprocessor based stepper motor control of stepper motor control. So the stepper motor operating in the open loop configuration, so that we have 
So we have stepper motor of a high torque at uh, zero speed or low speed with open loop mode control strategy. Open loop mode control strategy. Okay. Now we will see small small problems regarding stepper motor. So what is the problem? The problem is the stepper motor has step in step angle of 1.8 degree. What are we going to find? Find resolution. Second one is number of steps are required for 50 revolution and the soft speed if stepping frequency is 500 pulses per second. So this is a problem. First we find step angle is given. So step angle theta is given. Step angle theta is given. The theta is equal to 360 degree upon number of faces into number of rotor tips. This is a formula. So now what is the, they are not given, value of the number of phases not given, number of rotor teeth also not given. What is the given? The step size is given. Step size theta is given. So theta is equal to 3, theta is 1.8 degree is given. 1.8 degree is given, that is a theta s. Now find the resolution. Resolution formula is, resolution formula is, it is equal to z, it is equal to 360 upon 1.8, 1.8, that is equal to 200 steps for revolution, 200 steps for revolution, this is the first. Next, number of steps required for 50 revolution, number of steps, number of steps record for revolution that is equal to z into 50 so that is equal to sorry is it okay so what is z z equal to 200 200 into 50 that is equal to 10000 the next one is next one is so what is stepping frequency the stepping frequency is 500 sorry 5000 the stepping frequency is 5000. Now find it. Now find the soft, soft speed. Soft speed. So now find them again. That is equal to n equal to theta s into f upon 360. That is equal to 1.8 500 5000 upon 360. You will get 25. What is the soft speed? The soft speed is soft speed is final one. The soft soft speed is it is equal to 25 into 60. That is equal to 1500 rpm. 1500 rpm. The next problem. A small problem. A three phase, a three phase type via stepper motor has 10 rotor teeth and find the step angle. So, what is the center? What is the given three phase? Three phase stack. Three phase stack means number of stack equal to number of phases. Number of stack equal to number of phases. So, here three. So, the number of phases also three. So now we can write, so step size, step angle that is equal to 360 upon, 360 upon number of, number of faces, number of faces into number of rotor things. So it is a 360. Number of phases 3, 10. So we will get 12 steps. 12 steps. So next one, very similar problems. There are 10 pole, 5 phase, hybrid stepper motor has 2 rotor of 50 teeth each. Find the step angle for 1 phase on move. 1 phase on move. So find for the step angle. Step angle. Step angle equal to 360 
for hybrid separate model very very important we have to multiply with 2 so 2 into m into n now now substitute 5 phase is 5 so 360 upon 2 into 5 phase into 10 so what we get 0 0.72 degree this is for step angle of next one is summary so in this class we discussed the characteristics of stepper motor first one is step angle step angle second one is resolution third one is pulling torque and the fourth one is pull out torque and the fifth one is static characteristics sixth one is dynamic characteristics and also we discussed uh, micro process based uh, stepper motor and also discussed small small numerical problems numerical problem step angle for we are stepper motor 360 upon number of pages in the number of water team step angle for I will stepper motor is 360 upon 2 into number of pages in the end. So these are the summary of this class. Thank you.